Hey guys, I'm Lucky Mabaki from the video guys. Today we'll be going ahead and doing my top 5 list of the top 5 mutt heroes in the game currently. Now, of course, I'm not trying to say, you know, that any mutt hero is bad. In all honesty, if you look at any mutt hero all the way from Eric Berry down to um, Leonard Fournette, they are all good and can be used very, very nicely in any squad that you assemble them with. So with that in mind, again, keep that in mind. I am not trashing on these guys saying that these players are not good at all. They are all good players. I'm just saying my personal top five list of players, if I had to add them to the squad right now, who would they be and why? All right, so let's get this started right away with Leonard Williams. He's gonna be number five on my list. Now, I don't think I'm gonna put. I don't think I'm gonna put these in any order. So it's just like five random mutt heroes that I would love. If I had to put in them in order, I'd probably go ahead and start with Desmond Trufant. So let's start off with number five then and put them in a little bit better of an order. Number five is going to be Desmond Trufant. He comes in with 89 speed, 89 man, 91 zone, 94 press, and of course 77 catching. Now he has 55 block shed, which is actually pretty good for a cornerback. Yes, cornerbacks don't have too crazy, you know, when it comes to block shedding ability. We'll go ahead and take a look at them right now. Let's go ahead and take a look at block shed. And we got cornerback. Let's go ahead and take best cornerbacks block shed wise. Best cornerback currently block shed wise is 68. So 55 is not the worst in my opinion. It's definitely very high up there. And for the stats he's getting with 89 zone and 91 man and 89 speed, this card is absolutely really amazing and to be honest if i go down to a squad i would for 284,000 coins i would not mind having this card on the squad number four is going to be leonard williams leonard williams is just an amazing three four and four three defense alignment i would say he's more of a three four just because the speed's a little bit less and the block shed is higher but he also has really good power and finesse move ratio which makes him a really good pass rusher with being an amazing run stopper. So that would be number four on the list. Again, Leonard Williams, 89 hit power. This card looks absolutely disgusting. And if you can go ahead and max this card out with, you know, let's say uh, maxed out pass rush, you can actually get him to 98 power move and 85 finesse move. So again, very nice card. Definitely recommend picking up. Uh, you can see down here, he does not have a power up though. So that does suck. Unlike uh, Desmond Trufant, who does have a power-up, he does not have a power-up card. So you can't go ahead and do that. Number three on my list is going to go ahead and be Quan Short. And again, just like my last guy on the list, a pass rusher, a 3-4, and a 4-3 defender. Uh, you can see right here, he's 84 at 3-4, uh, 98 at 4-3. Honestly, I don't know why he's so bad at 3-4 with the block shed being as high as it is. He definitely looks like a monster D-tackle. If you put this guy as a nose D-tackle, I know the Panthers won a 4-3, but if you guys put this as a nose D-tackle, he could be an amazing player. Nonetheless, though, he does have 90 power move, 86 finesse move. Again, if you get pass rush max out, you can get him up to 94 power move and 90 finesse move, 90 on both categories. Always a good thing to have. 95 block shed amazing 89 pursuit 90 tackle 69 speeds a little bit slow but again most time d tackles you don't really care about speed you just want someone in there who's going to be able to clog the hole and stop a running back or stop and run up the middle something like that you just want someone in there who's going to be able to make the tackle get to the quarterback or in some way get to the running back number two von miller i said this when he first got this card and this actually thing was the first card i saw on the list and that was Von Von. Now Von Mill comes in at 84 speed which at the moment I believe is one of the fastest less us linebackers. I believe if I'm not incorrect. Now you can run players out of position but I believe he is one of the fastest if not the fastest left us at linebacker in the game and he is the fastest left us at linebacker in the game. I was correct on that fact. He is a 99 at 3 4, 91 at 4 3. He doesn't have the coverage ability, but his pass rushing ability is probably one of the best in the game, if not the best in the game at the moment. You can get him up to 99 power move, 91 finesse move. This card, catching 52 is not good at all, but most of the time you're not going to be using this guy. You're going to be putting him as a pass rusher and just blitzing the crap out of the quarterback. This guy will get to the quarterback, and of course, he does have a power up card. 
So you can get this guy up to 93 overall with some pretty good stats. And my number one card. Is there any like guess or anything that you could think wouldn't be? Guys, you know I love Eric Berry. You guys know my you, my uh, gamer tag is Barry Strong 2931 for Eric Berry 29 Barry 31 Cam Chancellor. This Barry card is absolutely beautiful. This Barry card, if you got him with Sprinter and you got Chiefs maxed out and gave him 91, well, if you got maxed out Chiefs, I believe that's what plus three speed and then plus four for Sprinter. This card would be even more amazing, but this card is already a godsend. 95 zone coverage, which with, um, what's it called? With lockdown, you can get him up to 99 zone coverage. With 82 catching, this card is absolutely amazing. Definitely worth the coins. Definitely worth it to pick up. 61 block shed, so he's going to be good in run support. He's going to be good in coverage. He has 89 speed, which right now is a really good speed for strong safeties. Again, I might be incorrect here. We'll check this right now. Is he the fastest strong safety? He is not the fastest, but he's the fourth. Well, he's technically tied for the second fast with uh, Steve Atwaters. But Adrian Amos and Ed Reed, of course, are the fastest. But if you get him with Sprinter and you go ahead and add um, just Sprinter, actually, you can get him to be uh, tied with the fastest strong safety in the game right now, guys. This Eric Berry card is absolutely beautiful. And, of course, he can be powered up. And if you power him up, he can even, I believe he probably will get plus one speed. Let's, let's take a look at that real fast. Let's go to Upgrades. Um, no, we actually have to go to uh, his 68 of all. Let's go ahead and see what he gets if he powered up. He might become 90 speed, which will make him the fastest, uh, tied with the fastest. Yeah, he is 90 speed. So him powered up is the tied with the fastest player in the game, guys. Oh, strong safety wise. So this card absolutely disgusting. Definitely recommend picking him up. If you guys are looking for a, you know, a strong safety that's going to be able to really solidify you for the next, I want to say, three or four months. It's your card right here. Definitely a monster. 90 speed, maxed out, 95 zone. Of course, you can get that to 99 zone. If we go ahead and um, get that um, maxed out with the power up. 83 press, 94 play rack. Um, 88 man coverage which we can max that out even more again just absolutely a beautiful beautiful card definitely my number one tell me down below guys who is your top five for mutt heroes and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out